Being on stage is the best feeling in the world. That's it. I just love being able to connect with people in real life, which is why I love live performances. I'm just feeding off of that energy of the crowd. The main piece of advice, the main piece of advice I would give, and there's, there's lots, but the main thing is bust your hump. Work, 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 work. Today we have a very special guest joining us in studio, Charlie Donnie. Charlie Donnie. <laughs> We're here with Cadillac. We're Cadillac. Yeah. Everyone, Everyone, please welcome Rig Juice. What's up, guys? Uh, it's students working with students, and that's, that's really what it's about. We're here to help make better music. I'm trying to be a more well-rounded artist and tap into different things and see what I like and what I can do. And then you get like comments and stuff that say things like, you know, like this, this is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, when's this going to be released? Blah 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 then prompted us to like release on like streaming and stuff, which we actually just did. Try not to get nervous. I think that everyone's there to see me. Not in like a egotistical way, like more like, all right, this is what you came to see. So what you see is what you're gonna get. These industries, I feel, have a way of kind of finding where it is you belong. Really, we just are making what feels natural to us. I'm Alex, uh, I'm a junior at Temple, and I'm a media studies and production major. I'm Nick, I'm a junior, and I'm an accounting major. Uh, I'm Elish, I'm a sophomore, and I'm a philosophy major. Yeah, I've been playing forever, like since I could hold the, the drum six. So I've just always had, you know, that drive. I started probably performing when I was like 11, 12 years old. I did like music schools, like School of Rock and stuff like that. And I have like another band back home too, and we record music and stuff. My, my dad was a musician, but um, I got more into music in high school. And then uh, I wanted to play in a band, so I played from East Guy. Well, started with an outside person who put me and him in contact with someone else. Long story short, we now have Milos, who is our great bass player. And yeah, that's, that's really it. In the, the practice space is my house. We practice in my basement. It's not so much like just having a schedule. Like we just try to get things done, like set a goal, just get it done. He's also another band, so that made things a lot easier because they kind of got us our first gig. Shout out New Galena. We work together to put shows on together. So like he's playing two sets a night, which is crazy. He's playing. Yeah, they've helped us a lot with meeting new people and just putting us around other musicians. The reason I didn't want to go into music is because like I didn't want the cross section of relaxingness and work to like overlap. Because like I go, I go to class, I come home, I do homework for a few hours, and then like I play guitar and it's like nice and relaxing. I don't have to do anything for anyone else. I play what I want to play and that's it. I wouldn't say the school has been involved that much. I feel like that Philly like couch show scene I'm more involved in is very DIY. So everyone kind of organizes their own shows, they use their basements and things. And there have been like some school affiliated events like October for us for the most part it's kind of we've been doing everything ourselves. Like we've organized shows at Alex's house. There is a lot available like since I'm a client student, um, we've got like Annenberg Hall and all the resources there are available to us if we want to use them. So that was really cool. Uh, there's been multiple times where I finished a paper like five minutes before we played. It's a lot of fun to perform because the show is kind of, the energy just ends up being whatever we bring out, you know, because the people that are here to see us, they just want to match the energy. And, and they naturally they will with, with whatever's going on. How we just floating along. like to speak directly to the audience, oh, you know, always ask them questions, ask always them thank them how they're doing, comments. thank them, yeah, you know. Because like it's not like they're the reason we're there. We could be playing to no one. I would like to say that like everyone's in rig juice. We're not just rig juice, you know. But you gotta find the right people who like are thinking the same way as you. We're just we just wanna have fun so we're not taking this too seriously or anything. We're not really pursuing music full time. I mean if something happens obviously you're gonna take up on it. But, you know. Rig juice is Cool. It's more about the idea than itself.
Vice Chair of Media Studies and Production and Director of Audio and Live Entertainment major. The main thing is to kind of set up a real world as close as you can within an academic context, a real world situation for them. Put them in a situation that's as much like the industry without exactly the deep level of financial risk, let's say. And then beyond that, it's a lot of private discussions, career paths, advice, things of that nature, and behind the scenes, as it were, trying to develop industry partnerships and find internship placements and job placements and things like that. With Bell Tower, I don't touch anything. I don't, I don't touch a fader, I don't touch a microphone, I don't touch anything. I'm just there to sort of, like, like technically, an executive producer, right? But really all that is, is saying, yeah, that's good enough for commercial release. No, go fix this, that, that, and that. That's really the extent of it. My name is Charlie Donnie. I'm from PG County, Maryland, and I own my own braiding business, and I'm also a student artist here at Temple. I feel good. I'm the reason I'm feeling this way. I went to a performing arts school, so music was all I heard throughout the halls, was live music and saxes and pianos going, so it felt good to be surrounded by that. I think Temple has aided me a lot on the production side with the different production courses that I've taken, and it's allowed me to be able to communicate better with producers and engineers when I'm in the studio. I think that's the biggest thing that Temple has given me. So recently you signed with Bell Tower Music. Congratulations. Thank you. I just saw it as a huge opportunity to have the support of a team backing me, which is definitely a struggle as an independent artist trying to find your way and make your way. So we get access to the studios. They have different departments within the, the label. So there's a marketing team, then you have A&R. I work closely with my executive producer Ethan and that means we, we take time to sit down and write music out. They scout band members for me. They help me get different performances around campus and other performance opportunities on TV. So just things like that and Bell Tower is definitely helping me with. How's your experience been so far? Do you love it? Do you hate it? It's been very positive. Like I, I definitely enjoy it. It's what I wanted. Since I got to Philly, I really wanted to fully go in on music and I feel like I'm getting a chance to do that now and establish myself a little bit more. I think our first studio session where we brought in the band members, it was just very like invigorating and refreshing to have that live sound and be back surrounded by music. No to make me happy inside. I just need myself. I think seeing myself as a brand definitely helps me market myself. A lot of the time, if I'm doing a release, Every single video or everything that I post until that release is gonna be about the release, related to it in some way, so that you're you're hearing this snippet all the time and it's it's, it's catchy or you're you're waiting on it. So things like that, or just incorporating it into also like my hair business when I'm posting hair tutorials or hair reels on Instagram or TikToks, I'm putting my music behind it so that it's always it's always out there in the forefront. I guess just trying to keep up the social media presence is the most is the most difficult thing about trying to market myself. A few weeks ago I performed at Philly Style and that was a lot of fun. I just love being able to connect with people in real life, so that was amazing. Ten years from now, I still want to be collaborating with other artists. I want to be performing anywhere I can perform. Um, no matter how large or small the venue, I just want to keep sharing my music with people. That's all I want to do. The good news is the way things are now really favors independent artists much more than it did 20, 30, 40 years ago. You have global reach from your bedroom. All you need is a laptop. I learn something every day. <laughs> when the light bulb goes off and it's like they figured out something about their worldview, 
that feels really good. I'm Brett, I play drums, and I'm a um, management major. I'm Tyler, I play bass, and I am sound recording and music technology. I'm Casey Kohler, and I play guitar and sing, and I'm a media. Me and Casey went to high school and middle school together, and so we jammed for a bit, and then Tyler moved from California yeah. over, and then we met, and he started playing bass. Like right before COVID. And we all started playing together. And how did you guys get your name? How did Catalyst come to So that's a weird, story because we don't really have an answer it just kind of came about and I think we were just looking for something that wasn't a thing that already if that makes sense like the only thing on the internet that we could find that had nothing just this string of letters that we kind of put together do you think that temple provides musicians like yourself ample resources to get your careers going definitely there's the resources and stuff we've used I think there's options, a lot of options to use like materials that they have, but it's all on you pay for everything. So it's not like Temple is like helping you out really. It's kind of like the same price as if you went to outside a studio or use outside equipment. I think it's less less hands on at Temple. Yeah, we recorded our first two songs we put out at the studio in Boyer, I think it is. And then we went to Headroom. They helped us out a lot more. They kind of like more hands on. The Temple one was good for just not knowing what we were doing at all. Mm -hmm. Just being like, we want to do this, we want to get it recorded. It was it was perfect for that, because that's all we really needed from it. We live together. Yeah. So that's a lot easier than <laughs> many people. We're in, the, we're in the duplex, kind of. So we're on the upstairs floor. So we'll play on the upstairs and downstairs and we just it. <laughs> Towards the end of the semester, there's finding that balance was a lot harder to do just because, you know, middle of the junior year, there's everything's kind of flying at you, don't have any time for anything else, but we kind of make it a point of emphasis to just really nail it down so we can at least have some time every week just to get together and play. When we first started really doing TikToks more, that's when it kind of became real almost, just because we, we posted a video of what, like the BoJack Horseman outro and that blew up and that was just like a silly little cover we did for like seven seconds. So that's when it was like, all right, well, if we can do that, then we can like actually start to push our own kind of stuff. We got a lot of traction through like TikTok and social media and stuff. We posted uh, videos of people in the crowd just vibing out to the music kind of thing and then videos of us playing and stuff. And a few of them did really well. And then of course, then we got some nice numbers in like Spotify and Apple Music and stuff like that. Speaking of darkness of the day, want to say congratulations for one million streams. That's that's Thank incredible. You. It's it's really I don't think it's hit us for real yet, because a million streams is something you know when we recorded these first couple songs, we thought we were just doing it as like a fun project for ourselves, and then here we are a year later and we have two songs that have combined for a lot, a lot more than we would ever anticipate it for. So it's um. It's big. I mean, you always want to be better. I think it's more inspiring and say, oh, I want to make another song that people like as much. But it's not, I don't think it's really stressful. Have you guys thought about joining Bell Tower Music or any other production company? Not really, not at this time at least. You have to be careful about it, but I mean, if someone had an offer that was, you know, valid and made sense to help us, then yeah, we would definitely consider it. But it'd have to be the right, you know, the right deal or whatever. But Basement Shows are the most fun. It's like super high energy, it's yeah. like everyone's down there dancing, super hot. I mean, a winter gets like 100 degrees down there. Yeah. And then our shows, we let people know our name and stuff so they can. We'll just be there seeing other bands, then they'll see us, and then if they remember us, they'll follow us, and then maybe come out to another show. I mean, right out the shows, we obviously have made friendships with other bands, and obviously, like, seeing people in the crowd, you see, like, people you've seen before, or whatever, you know, like, it's, it's like that to the community more. Everyone's just having a good time there. We'll kind of, we'll kind of fall into a pocket of our own, where we'll all kind of go out of sync and go in sync, and it just kind of all works together, and and you kind of feel it with the audience, their energy will go up and then our energy will go up and it just, it kind of both goes up at the same time and then 
by the end, everyone's like sweating their ass off and you're just like, everyone's panting and it's crazy. And then you finish that last chord and you kind of pause and everyone just, there's like that like silence before the end. You know what I mean? And it just, it's crazy. It's so much fun. What's some advice that you would have for some of your aspiring or fellow student artists that may be struggling to find a balance or struggling to start their music careers? Just do it. Yeah, you can't you can't get discouraged. That's a big thing. Yeah, do it and use like the new things that are out there for you, like TikTok and stuff, because it's honestly easier than it used to be. I'd say like don't stress it. Music is is art, so you just gotta put the time and energy into it. You gotta like dedicate yourself to it and stick with it. Like with it's really just like learning anything and finding a balance with school. I think a lot of people. Who, could be timid to join the scene, but it's, it's very inclusive. Like, if you go to the shows, you're always welcome. And then just reach out to people, because most people are looking for bands to play, if anything. So if, if you talk to people, then it'll be, it'll be pretty easy to get the show. Using music and learning to be a musician and writing is a really good outlet, rather than to set a certain standard or goal for yourself. If it sounds good to you, it's, it's yeah. good. My advice is to not even take it day by day, but hour by hour. Like that's the only way I get through my weeks because it's always so much going on. So if I allow myself to be consumed in the busyness of my schedule, like I would overflow and like implode and not ever be where I need to be mentally, emotionally, or you know, physically for that matter. So just taking a second to breathe and hour by hour, okay, what am I gonna do right now? What can I get done right now? Or what can I do to prepare myself better for tomorrow if I need to do that? So I think that's something that helps me and I think would help a lot of other people. And now I feel like I've learned from all these different experiences and I'm able to put that into the projects that I'm working on now. Baby, 